Hey guys, my name is Jackalow, and if you're not familiar with my content, I do Subnautica Hardcore Series Modded. And that is why you're here, because I'm going to teach you how to mod your Subnautica. Primarily, I'm going to teach you how to use this little number, Bepin X. There are two major formats when it comes to modding Subnautica, and typically they're either QMod Manager or Bepin X. And the reason I use Bepin X is because QMod Manager is extraordinarily difficult to understand. And every single person I've tried to get to tell me has spent 30 minutes telling me, and I'm just gonna show you a small video on how to do it. So, okay, are you happy now? I've gotten that out of the way, let's start the video. So you have searched on your pretty little search bar, how do I do Subnautica mods? And all of a sudden this pretty little site comes up called Nexus Mods and you feel so excited because you think the life is going to be easy. You're wrong. Because Subnautica modded is not easy. People like to make it look easy, but to the common individual, it looks like crap. First thing you need to understand is that you are going to need those little mod managers. You can get QMod Manager or you can get what I like to use, which is Bepinex. With Bepinex, it's actually a lot more straightforward than you might think, right? So before you start clicking on every single download button you ever own, or clicking on all those pretty little mod files that are screaming your name because you just want to know where the fuck you are in Subnautica, let me explain to you how this works. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go into your Steam or Epic Games library and I want you to find your little gear icon next to your Subnautica game. And I want you to browse your local files. Mine look like this. <coughs> yeah, it's bad. Yeah, I know. In the process of trying to learn mods, I have made mine so filthy that I can't tell what's normal and what isn't normal. So do not do this. So the first thing I want you to do when you get this pretty little prompt on your screen is I want you to click on that manual download button. The one you've so eagerly been waiting to click. You can do this. I have not personally used this. I'm going to teach you how to do it so you do not have to take extra steps. So you're going to click on this download button. So the first thing you're going to see when you click on that pretty little download button is it's going to ask you to log in. You need to make a login. Don't be an idiot. Don't fight it. It's just the way the world works. Once you get that lovely little account set up, you are going to have the choice to free download it or to premium download it. I don't know why I'm pointing like you can see me. You might see me. I haven't been paying attention. Your choices are between the free and premium download service. You can do whatever suits your pretty little eyes. If you do not want to buy bleach, then just for God's sake, click on that premium button and spend your fucking money. Or you can give it to me. Wink. Now, you've got your Bepinex downloaded and you're wondering where the hell did it go? It is up here in the corner of your screen and it's going to be in your downloads photo. If you use a different browser, well, I hate it for you. I have used Microsoft Edge for the entirety of my life. Kill me. Anyway, I'm just always going to kick slow and it's going to ask you, do you want to download, download? Why are you here? It's going to ask you if you want to donate. You have the choice of doing that. If you want to throw a thousand dollars at these pretty little modders who have made these mods so easy to access, you sure can those to your heart's content. Anyway, your file is going to pop up in the corner of your screen and it is going to have this pretty little zipper on it, which means you cannot use it. Why does the world work like that? I don't know, but it's going to have a whole bunch of shit in there that you don't care about. All you have to do is open up your pretty little Subnautica folder and then you are going to take that little download and I'm going to have a stroke if this doesn't work. Okay, so now that you have your download and you're going to come up here, click on this, drag this pretty little baby over here. And when it falls into here, you're going to notice something. It's going to say, hey, yo, you still can't use me. And all you have to do is click on this pretty little extract all button. When you do that, it is going to turn into this. In this, you're going to notice so many different things and I'm going to tell you to ignore all of it, but one of them. You're going to pay attention to your plugins. This is where every single download you're going to take from BepinX, you're going to throw into here. You're going to unzip it just like we did before. And all of them are going to stay in there. So when you launch the game, all of the mods are going to pop up and you're going to get some pretty little prompts. Okay, now we're in Subnautica. You're not going to see this unless you downloaded Return of the Ancients mod, which I highly recommend you download because it is terrible. And immediately you're going to notice when you click on options that there's going to be a mods tab down here and you're going to notice that some of the mods that you have installed are all here and that means it worked and that means it shouldn't blow up in your face and that means maybe you should like this video and subscribe and watch my hlc series wink anyway so did i help you at all was i just as confusing as any other youtuber maybe you better have enjoyed the video I'm gonna go now, this is awkward. I don't like it when people see my face. Bye.